A give running right is Chubb. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. They'll run for it. Chubb. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and that will force a turnover on downs. Running right, it's Pollard. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Miles Garrett showing that athleticism as he gets in to make the play. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now Dak, he wants to change the play. Looking to throw. Prescott. That's dumped off to Poe. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it'll be a third and about 13. Now they'll change things up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no incomplete. Fourth down, Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown! Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Run of the jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward. And he will get into the end zone. And it's now a two-score game as the lead moves to nine. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And last time we saw them go for it in kind of an unusual situation. It's not like it's a fourth quarter do or die. They went for it, didn't get it. We'll see how that affects them this goal. Partner, I'm wondering if we're starting to see the effects of analytics coming into play here, where people are studying the number of possessions, how many times you should go for it, what position it leaves your team in. Maybe we're starting to see a little bit of that creeping into the NFL game. Yeah, I think we, we've seen it in other sports, maybe into the NFL now as well. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Prescott looks to throw on first. And that's complete to Cooks. 
And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. 23 yards, the final tally. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Prescott now. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. At their own 22-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Second down, here's Chubb again. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now Chubb running right. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. A give. This is Chubb. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. And now they're in the hurry up. That's a gain of five. And off comes to Chubb. That he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Running for it. Here's Chubb. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. Nick Chubb stops short. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently... They're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. That is caught by Lamb. Fighting his way through contact. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, 51 yards. And the Cowboys continue to pull away here in this first half. Now Mike McCarthy saying, let's go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all Lebanon defense able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. 
Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception in this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point, you just had to say, let's take a knee and go in into half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it and try and get some points. While the old school coach probably would have said, take the knee, let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Round six. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Second half begins with a run by Pollard. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa. Big impact play, a tackle for loss. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. To throw is Prescott. Open man downfield is Lamb. It's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. Here we go, 47! They'll look to throw. It's complete. And they are just not going to run up as he is into the end zone here for two more. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Browns drive about to get started. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's trying to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. They'll try and run for it. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on. 